This is lesson two in an invitation to programming. As you've seen, your Atari computer can be used to solve problems, to produce sounds, and to produce pictures and colors. However, in order to do any of these things, the computer needs a set of instructions. These instructions lay out for the computer everything it must do. If you give the computer the right steps to follow, you'll get the results you want. The instructions you give the computer are like a recipe. You have to tell the computer all the things it must do, and also the order in which it should do all these things. You have to go into a lot of detail for the computer. Computers don't really think, and so if you leave out steps or put them in the wrong order, the computer will not fill in the gaps for you. Question one, what should a set of instructions tell the computer? A recipe for the computer must be written in a language the computer can understand. For the Atari computer, that language is basic. To write the basic language, you need to know the words in the language and how to put them together into sentences for the computer. You already know one basic word, print. A computer recipe is called a program. A computer program is a series of steps that the computer will follow in order. As in a recipe, steps in a program are numbered. The computer will do the steps in numerical order. You don't have to number one, two, three, though. The computer will go in order even if you skip some numbers. In fact, we always try to skip numbers between program steps. That way, if we think of a step that should go between 20 and 30, for example, we can call the step 25 and put it in the program. Question two, which numbers could you use for program steps? Here's a sample computer program that uses only one basic word, print. There are three statements in this program numbered 10, 20, 30. Statement 20 just tells the computer to print a blank line Watch what the computer does when it gets this program. The computer takes the steps in order. First, it prints hello. Then it prints a blank line. Then finally, it prints goodbye. When you type a program for the computer, each line shows on the screen. The computer won't do any of the steps until you tell it to. The basic word that tells the computer to begin the steps is run. Whatever order you type the statements in, the computer will still run them in numerical order. Question three. What will the program on the screen print? Now we'll load the next part of lesson two. Type C-L-O-A-D to load the second part of this lesson. Suppose you want to look at your program again after you've run it. The basic command to tell the computer to show you the program is list. You can use list to get the program back on the screen so you can add more to it, or so you can make changes. When we ran a program, we got what you see on the screen. There's an error there. We typed list to see the program. Now we can see the whole program. Line 10 has an error. To change statement 10, we can just retype the 10 and then correct the statement. The computer will remember only the new statement, 10. Question one. 
Now what do we type to see all the lines in the program again and see if line 10 is correct? Now here's what you'd see if you typed list. Even though we typed line 10 last, the computer listed it in the correct place in numerical order. The list and run commands tell the computer to show you a program or to follow the steps. They aren't part of the program, so they don't need line numbers. If you put one or list in your program, you won't be happy with the results. Suppose you want to get rid of a line completely. Then just type the number and press return. The computer will forget the line. Here, we type 10 and hit return. Now, we list the program. 10 is gone. When you're through with the program, you want to get it out of the computer's memory so you can work on a new program. To do this, type the word new. Don't use a line number with new. It's not part of a program. Here, we were working on a program. Then we typed new. Next, we'll list the program. What do you think the computer will show? The computer shows no program in its memory anymore. Question two, what do you type to remove this line from a program? Question three, how do you correct an error after you hit return? Question four, suppose you want to practice typing some programs later. First, you'll have to get rid of this teaching program. What do you type to remove this program from memory? That's the end of lesson two. You can write a few programs of your own if you like. Then go on to lesson three to learn more basic words and to see how they're used in programs.